Well, hello there, and welcome to Mr. C's presentation on adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominators. I brought my buddy Eduardo here, who is a math master. Yes, he, ha he has his brown belt in mathematics currently, working towards his black belt. And he and I are going to explain to you how this process is actually pretty easy. All right, so, Eduardo, say hello to, say hello to the YouTube world. Hola. Hola. Oh, you didn't know? Eduardo is my Spanish correspondent. So when he speaks to you, he's going to be speaking in Spanish. All right, let's do this. We're going to go over why this is important. Okay, the first reason that this is important is because it's the first step to learning how to add other kinds of fractions. So you're going to use this when you start adding like one half and one fourth. Es um, el primer paso para aprender como... Um, uh, Add fractions. Cool. Second reason that this is important is it looks intimidating. It looks hard. You're looking at this going, what? But actually, it's pretty easy. Um, se ve duro, pero es muy fácil. Uh, and then, oh, it's on, I mean, adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominators on all your favorite tests. Esto va a estar en tus favoritos exámenes. Yeah, so let's see this. We're going to go over two problems here, but first, we got one very important rule. Okay, here's your rule. Here it is. This is it. The denominator stays the same. So if your fractions, when you're adding and subtracting them, have the same denominator, it doesn't change in your answer. It's exactly the same. All you're going to do is add, ooh, I forgot to put or subtract. I'm going to add that in right there. Let's edit that. Er, carrot. Or subtract the denominators. All right, Spanish correspondent, go ahead. El, el denominator se queda lo mismo, no más um, sumar o restar the numerators. Yes. Okay, so let's see this. Here is fraction number one. I always like taking them from this kind of side saddle fraction and standing them up straight. So we're going to take three eighths. And we are going to add two eighths. Okay, well, let's follow the rules. The denominator stays the same. Just add or subtract the numerators. Uh, okay. Eduardo, what's three plus two? Cinco. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I need a Spanish correspondent in on more of these videos. Yeah, that's it. The denominator stays the same. Eight, eight, eight. Add the numerators. Three and two is cinco. That's exactly right. Okay, so... We're going to do one more, but this is easy. I'm ready to try it. Just hold your horses. Okay, we're going to do a subtraction one. 7 24ths minus 1 24th. Okay, let's stand it up the way that I love seeing fractions. 7 24ths minus 1 24ths. We are going to go ahead and go back to our rule. The denominator stays the same. Denominator es mismo. You're just going to subtract the numerators. Eduardo, what is 7 minus 1? Seis. Yeah, yeah, six twenty-fourths is the answer because the denominator stays the same. Now, we're going to take this even a step further because if you're doing this, you probably already know how to reduce fractions. My man Eduardo already knows how to do that. Eduardo, do you see a factor that goes into six and twenty-four? Six. Yeah. Oh. Seis. Yeah, that's what I thought. Seis. So we're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number, and that number is going to be 6. Okay, we're going to shoot that answer down here. What's 6 divided by 6? Uno. Yeah, yeah. And what's 24 divided by 6? Cuatro. Cuatro. That's 4, right? Yes. Boom! That is our answer to this question because we reduced 6 24ths to 1 fourth. Yes! Things are starting to come together. Fraction skills are all culminating into one gigantic, awesome clump of learning. Uh, that's where we're going to stop today. You're going to start doing some more difficult stuff later. But first, we're going to go over what did we learn. Well, we learned that if the, de the denominators are the same, the only thing that's going to change is the numerator. La única cosa, la única cosa que va, se va a cambiar es el numerator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we also learned that if the denominators are the same, then this is actually really easy. Uh, si el denominator es lo mismo... Um, esto va a ser um, 
muy fácil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we're going to use this again. We're about to use it in the very next thing we learn, which is adding or subtracting fractions with different denominators. Lo vamos a usar otra vez. Okay, cool. So we're going to challenge you like we always do to try it. It's going to give you three problems. This, again, if you, if you understood this, it's, it's pretty easy. I want you to add one-third and one-third, and then I want you to add three-sixths and two-sixths, and then finally, we're going to add 12 30-seconds and 15 30-seconds. Oh, man, I'm actually, I didn't add any subtraction one, so I'm going to go ahead and do a subtraction one. Let's do five-eighths minus two-eighths. Okay, find the answer to that one too, just so we can say that we did a subtraction one as well. Before we sign off, Mr. Eduardo, my Spanish correspondent, do you want to give shout outs to anybody out there in YouTube land? No. Come on, how about mom or something like that? Hi, mom. Uh, yeah, hola, mama. All right, uh, hope this helped. I hope you learned a lot. Make sure that you master this before you move on to more difficult skills. Thank you.